All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to lesson 5.5. This is linear automobile depreciation. So let's get into this. Let's start off with the vocabulary. Here we go. Word number one, depreciation. This is something that loses value over time. Now, the thing might not like disappear or, you know, degrade or anything, but the value, the dollar value is lost over a period of time. Appreciation is the opposite. This is going to increase in value over time. So some things like collectibles, baseball cars, model cars, or actual cars, they could increase in value over time. Next vocabulary word is straight line depreciation. So you can lose value, but when we're talking about losing value in a straight line method, it means it's going to lose the same amount of value year over year. So if uh, you lose $2,000 in value a year, every year it's going to be that same $2,000 that you've lost in value for that particular item. Last vocabulary word is slope, and this is just a numerical value for the inclination or declination of a line. So this is going to be the change in y value over the change in x value. So it's a slope ratio, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. All right, checking for understanding example number one. Suppose that you purchase a car for 27,000. According to your online research, this make and model of car loses its marketable value after 12 years. So that means that it depreciates to a value of $0 12 years after the purchase date. If the depreciation is a straight line form, what are the intercepts of the depreciation equation? So in order for us to do that, we are going to use a graph here, okay? So let's grab this graph and we're gonna have to label the axes on these graphs. So let's say that X is gonna be the uh, number of years and we're gonna make Y equal the, um, the value of the vehicle, the value in dollars, okay? So in other words, this is the value and this down here is the years so when we first buy the car right here at year zero the car is going to be worth twenty seven thousand dollars right twenty seven k and after 12 years after 12 years over here at 12 years then the value of the vehicle is going to be zero so this spot right here, this point right here, and this point right here are both the X and the Y intercept. There's going to be a line that shows us the depreciation this way. And when the line crosses the X and the Y axis, that is where we see um, the intercepts at. So in this equation, it has an intercept at, remember, we write coordinates as, um, oops, we write coordinates as X comma Y right so the first coordinate here for this point right here that coordinate is going to be zero years at 27,000 that's the coordinate for the first intercept this is the y-intercept right and then the other coordinate right here is 12 years the value of that car is going to be zero dollars this is the x-intercept All right, for example number two, we're going to continue the problem from example number one, but this time we're going to determine the slope for example number two. So uh, in order for us to determine the slope, remember that this is y, oops, let's, uh, let's change the thickness on this thing. This is going to be y1 minus, oops, got that backwards, y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 that's going to be the slope formula so uh, we already have the equation here we have two x values we have uh, x1 right here we're going to have x2 right here we're going to have y1 right here and we're going to have y2 right here so we're going to use those terms to calculate the slope for this particular uh, equation so y2 is going to be zero and we're going to subtract uh, y1 from that which is going to be twenty seven thousand then we're going to have x2, which is 12, and we're going to subtract out 0. So when we do that, uh, we're going to, and, uh, when we have 0 minus 27,000, we're going to have, I'm going to continue this down here. I'm going to continue this down here. So we have negative 27,000 
right divided by 12 because whenever we have zero minus something uh, the zero is a small uh, uh, number we're subtracting out a larger number so we're gonna have negative 27 over 12 that means that our slope is going to be a negative value which means which which makes sense to the whole thing because essentially when you are losing value you are shrinking in numbers right you're losing value the value of the car is going down so the answer to this by the way is gonna be negative 2,000 let's make that a cleaner two this is going to be negative two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars that we're losing every single month that is going to be the slope all right for example number three what we're going to do is we're going to graph this thing so we've are and create the and write the equation so uh, we've already got a couple things first of all to to just to to remember what it is to have this equation uh, y is equal to mx plus b is the straight line equation that we're going to be using uh, m is the slope and b is the y-intercept and we've already found these two pieces so we've already located the slope in the previous problem it's right there so the equation is going to be negative two two five zero x and then the y-intercept is this coordinate right here. So we've already identified the y-intercept at 27,000. So when you look at this problem, all we're really saying is um, that we started off at $27,000 vehicle and it's losing $2,250 every year. And then if we can input the year, we'll know exactly the value of that car, which is y. Okay, so um, a couple things here on, on this, um, on this uh, graph so 27,000 if we were to do these in 10,000s um, you know we'd probably be somewhere about right here 27,000 12 27k is what we're gonna do and I'm just gonna write here this is in thousands so we know right um, and it depreciates uh, all the way down to zero over here at 12 years so um, you know what we're gonna do we're gonna call this um, we're gonna change these by two so this would be two uh, this would be two four six eight ten twelve just so we're on the same page here so when we graph this equation all we got to do is connect the dots we already did that in the previous one I just kind of wanted to show you guys for the graph portion um, how you can modify the graph uh, on your paper or you can uh, use one that's to scale it's completely up to you uh, but the equation right here y is equal to negative two thousand two hundred fifty dollars uh, x plus twenty seven thousand is our slope intercept or our straight line depreciation equation all right suppose jack purchased a car five years ago at a price of twenty seven thousand six hundred according to the research of this make and model similar cars have straight line depreciation zero to zero after uh, 12 years so how much will this car be worth after 66 months so a little bit of a shortcut to to look at here um, we can take the price of the vehicle the twenty seven thousand six hundred dollars and divide it by 12 remembering that the answer is going to be negative because we're losing value to help us find the uh, the slope so remember essentially this is uh, y2 over y1 27 or 0 minus 27,000 is going to be negative 27,600 uh, 12 minus 0 is going to be 12 so that's where this equation comes from but a little bit of shortcut to help you do that so when we do that this is going to be a negative $2,300 a month and that's the slope Okay. Now we know what the y-intercept is. It's always the price of the vehicle. It's the starting value of the vehicle. So we know the equation of this line. I'm going to do it in a different color here. We know the equation of this line is going to be y is equal to the slope is going to be negative $2,300 times x, right? Times x plus the 27,600. Okay. So that's the equation. <clears throat> we want to know what the car is going to be worth after um, 66 months okay so 66 months if we take the 66 months and we divide it by 12 right we're gonna get 5.5 years right so five years is 60 months another six months is half years so this is gonna be where we replace with X here to figure out how much the value of the car is gonna be after 5.5 years so the answer here Y is equal to we're gonna have negative 2300 
times, all right, plus 27,600. Okay, so in that parentheses here, we're gonna put that 5.5 years. Okay, so once we put that 5.5 years, that's when we're gonna get the value for Y in our answer here. Okay, so all we gotta do is take that $2,300, uh, that negative 2,300, we're gonna multiply that by 5.5, and that's gonna give us 12,650 uh, plus, I'm sorry, that's a negative, uh, plus 27,600. So that's gonna give us our final Y value here, which is the value of the vehicle, right? And all we gotta do is subtract that out and we get the value of the vehicle to be $14,950. So after 5.5 years, after 5.5 years, the value of that vehicle is $14,950 even though we originally bought it for $27,600. All right, last example here. We have uh, a straight line depreciation equation. Y is equal to negative 4,000 X plus 32,000 in, in approximately how many years will the car's value decrease by 25%? So a couple things to note here. The value of the car started off at 32,000. Whoops, gotta pick the brush. Uh, the value of the car here started off at 32,000. It loses, right? It loses $4,000 a month. Okay, or sorry, a year. So what's the value of the car after it's depreciated down 25%? Uh, so there's two ways we gotta figure out what's the value of the car now, so after it lost 25%. So there's two ways to do this. Uh, we can take the $32,000 vehicle, multiply it by 0.25, that's 25% after we move the decimal over two places, and that's gonna give us $8,000. And then we could take that $32,000, subtract out the 8,000, and that's gonna give us the value of the, the vehicle today, which is $24,000. That is one way to think about it, right? This is the value that we're looking for. Another way to think about it is what if we just, if we're losing 25% of the value, how much of the value do we have left? Well, if it's 100%, we subtract that 25%, we're gonna have 75% left over. So to skip this, this subtraction step, and just draw a line across, we could have done just 32,000 times 0.75 instead of 0.25 because 75% is what we keep and that would give us the same $24,000. So uh, it, it's just a, a way of thinking about it. However your mind works best, go for it and use that strategy. Uh, but both of these work, okay? Uh, so uh, once we know exactly how much the value of the car is going to be after we lose 25%, we're just going to use the equation here. So we're going to figure out how much Y is going to be when I plug in this x value here so this x value uh this twenty four thousand. uh sorry not the x value sorry this twenty four thousand is going to be that new y value and actually you know what i'm going to do it in green so we can stick to it this is going to be that new uh y value so we're going to plug in that twenty four thousand twenty four thousand into the equation where y is and we're going to have the same slope here four thousand dollars that we're losing we want to figure out when and how many years it's going to be down to that twenty four thousand i forgot a zero here down to that twenty four thousand so add in that thirty two thousand here and all we got to do here is solve for x so first thing i noticed is i'm going to subtract out the thirty two thousand from each side so subtract out the thirty two thousand from each side that's going to give me negative eight thousand dollars right when we do that so uh, that's going to be negative 8,000 there is equal to a negative 4,000 X so I'm going to subtract or divide sorry I'm going to divide by that negative 4,000 on each side divided by the negative 4,000 on each side negative 4,000 divided by negative 4,000 is just going to be 1 which leaves me with the 1x that I'm looking for 8,000 divided by 4,000, they're both negative. My answer is going to be positive, and that's going to be a positive 2. So what does that tell me? That tells me that X is 2, or in other words, X where X represents the number of years, it's going to take 2 years for the value of that vehicle to be $24,000.